So this is the second video. If you've watched the previous video, we'll show you the basics of how you do the sticky hand, the double chi sao. Now today Steve is going to show you how some of the techniques and basically how do you hit each other and what some what's the purpose behind that. So see if it would, would be the first like a drill or technique that he could do. All right, the first one would be on the basis that he puts pressure with his left hand, his hand. and he's giving me pressure. Now depending on where his elbow is positioned, all I can all I have to do is just shift a little bit, and I he ends up getting hit. Mm. Now if I keep you on a static position just so you can get used to this. I'm going to pull on that arm, okay? And an actual combat, would it really work? It just depends on how close you are to the opponent and if the guy's sweaty. So if I do get here at this point, okay, I'm coming right back to a hit with that same one, okay? Whether or not, you know, I grab him or not, it just depends on that slight little angle and I'm in. So, don't, so if I'm doing it wrong, I'm feeding energy to see if like I'm pushing, like I'm ah, trying to muscle him, right? Like, ah, boom. So he uses that force against me, right? Good. Yeah. So it's not like I'm telling you, okay, I'm, here you go, I'm gonna push. No, I just give him the energy and boom, he will hit. So. So, so it depends on how you're looking at it. If I'm teaching you this, Okay, you're gonna you're gonna end up getting what's called the lapsal, and it's supposed to be explosive. If you can get them enough to where you get them offline here, you can carry that over, which is the hook punch at that point. Okay, I can so slow down a little bit, right here, boom, boom. I see all my weapons are facing that way, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Right here. One more time. You can see. It gives you a better better visual here, yeah, so it goes here. Push, boom. Again, time. Boom. And see what about this hand? This one is staying in contact the whole time. Yeah, don't yeah. disengage from yeah. this, okay? Just don't just try to think about hitting and, and forget this one, okay? What happens is that he corrects himself too sometimes. If I do this and I'm coming right back, this is gonna correct. Yeah. And he may end up forgetting about this, so this one hits. Boom. Okay, Again, so, one more time. so by this time, he's giving me the pressure. I may be not going all the way, but he corrects himself to try to cancel that out, but this is hitting. Right there. This is gonna still try to go forward and he may end up attacking, and then we could take it on and on and on. It's like a puzzle, but at the same time, let's just look at it, he gives me pressure. Right. It just depends on where you're feeling. Sometimes I cannot indicate or tell you exactly if it's gonna work that way, because as soon as he gives me that feeling, I'm just gonna go with it. Right there, okay. So that's the first technique. And the second one, Sibu? Okay, the second one if is- I'm pushing this way. This, this pressure, if I can show. Instead sure. of pushing this way, it's this angle. So now I'm trying to muscle this way. Right. You see how naturally that, right there. So this hand here, keep aware of this other hand. It's hidden, okay? So uh, most of us are used to being very passive by grabbing, right? In the art of JKD, you end up hitting. You caught in motion? Yes. And this is gliding and this is a cut? Correct. And then by that time, you're either going to continue hitting with this one, or if you can carry it this way, that's fine. But just as long as you're hitting, as soon as he passes, I'm cutting. It's also how I'm off balance, right there. Now, sometimes you have to look at this as a second intention. If I'm intending to hit him, I have to get him to react. And we're going back to uh, something to where if I can get him to react to this, he's going to correct himself, right? And by that time, I'm hitting with this other hand. Yeah. By the time he's given me a passive move, he should already be getting hit Boom, on that so hand. So the first one is almost a setup because I can feel this punch is coming, right? Then I'm like, okay, oh my God, I don't want to get hit, boom. That's because when this is coming, I push it away, and then you can see the opening right there. This one right there. All right. You may be wondering what I'm doing with this hand. It's, it's preparing itself for a back fist. So if he gives me that pressure here, it's right there. Right there, right? Yeah, and sometimes I could keep it more economically intact. And just right there. Yeah. It, and that keeps it very simple. Yeah. But I love doing the back fist, so if I do this, ah, it's gonna go right into that. Yeah. Right okay. There. And also, it's also like almost like the, the, your whole body. Yes. It's right there, so 
right there. Yeah. Right? And I utilize the, the hip a lot in this. So if you were to be right there off of that line and you give me pressure back, I'm gonna take that using the hip right into it. Okay? Now it's hard to see off of that angle, but if we get on this side. Here? Like Here. That. Yeah, and as long as you're in control. Okay, it, it, it's very combative, it's very offensive. There is no, if I concentrate on too many on-top positions, to hook position, to this kind of a position, it's too much for me. So what we have to do is just make sure we're attacking on every single motion and you end up finding an opening. Right, okay, so that's the second technique. Now see, so this is this, pressure this way, pressure this way. What about this hand? This one is if, if you were to give I me... I guess if I have an opening. Maybe. Oh, that's, that's yeah, simple, right? So if I'm dropping, like if my, my posture, my, my posture is bad, right there. Yeah, right, that both, hits. Right? Each time there's an opening you hit, or there's a complete, it's pretty obvious. Lazy, you know? right? my shoulder's getting lazy. But let's look at it from that standpoint that if Dan pulls me, I give him pressure and he pulls. So I'm using the technique that we just, this technique we just learned, right? So I'm using it here, mm -hmm. right? You can see. Right, like there, right, from here, right. See that? One more time. Make sure to get it. And you might want to rewatch this a couple of times because it's it takes it, you need to see it, right? So from here, so you can see I'm I'm trying to do that. I'm trying to do the technique, right? Yeah. You see how it reduces my energy? Okay. One more time. Right. Yeah. Yeah. One more time. Yeah. Please get the force. Yes. Sure. Yeah. Right. And again, any questions? Comment below as you're watching this, because you may be, oh, what about the hand position? What about the energy and things like that? Right. Doesn't. Right. You see. So by attacking, I'm also leaving myself vulnerability. Because I try to attack, right? So now it's all the sensitivity all comes in, right? See, but what about also I push, I push it this way? If you're pushing me this way, yeah. okay, I'm going to carry it this way. See that? One more time. So if I'm pushing, so it's not fighting, fighting force with force. It's see if it's using my energy. Boom. See that? How my hand just flies. One more time. Right? Boom. What you're doing is just creating an opening there. There's just pressure there. I'm just gonna clear it and hit. Boom. Okay, this hand's ready to go too. By that time, I go boom, and here. Boom. If it gives me pressure, I just go roll it this way. Go back to that, right? So here's what it looked like when it's all mixed together. <laughs> that would hit me. Hit. Uh, That's so. Good. so as you can see, it just flows. It just flows. Yeah, just flows. and we're just working together, just being friendly. Yeah. That's how Chi Sao is supposed to be. Yeah. You're not going to fight each other. Otherwise, you have no friend left and nobody wants to do <laughs> Chi Sao with you. Right? So you want to do that. Now, so see even when they're practicing, it's important to kind of do it slow. Yeah, in yeah, the beginning. yeah. Because yeah. you know it looks good. It looks, oh, you're hitting each other. But make sure your, your form is correct. Because it's so easy to get flashy and then you get sloppy, right? Right, right. Yeah. It could, you know, control the techniques or control the drills nice and slow. Because in actual combat, it may not go exactly the way you're training it, but get in the feeling to where you can apply it whenever there's a void. Yeah, and don't try to get stuck. As, I know I see a lot of ancient guys, they get so focused on the technique. Right. It's you do A, I do B, and then you do C, you do D. Then you have a hundred techniques in your mind. You don't need that. I mean, see how many techniques you have, like three, four, five, maybe? I, at the best, I could only use two. Yeah. I mean, it's just, I'm not going to go into intricacy. I yeah. mean, it's, for me, I don't have that time. I need to just get it done. Right. So it's, it's it looks like there's many, many, many different techniques but it's actually two three techniques in, in yeah. many many different variations yeah. right so just keep that in mind again comment below if you have any questions maybe we'll make a future video based on that hit the subscribe button subscribe below and if you want to watch our other jkd videos you can click on the, the right side as well until next time practice chiso be safe train hot be water my friend